Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to make a short video about battery cables. I know that's not a very exciting topic. It's something every one of our trucks or cars have, and we don't think a lot of it. But when you swap out an LS motor, and you're going back with the, a lot of the wiring and the, uh, the battery cables that you may have already had, they may be 25, 30 years old or more. Uh, in this case, they're at least 30 years old. But because I moved the battery to the driver's side, the original OBS battery cables wouldn't work because the battery was on the left side. So the, the positive side is much shorter and the negative side uh, was quite different as well. Uh, the Suburban battery cables, uh, while the length would be correct in having the battery on the right hand side and, and the starter down here, uh, the problem with it was that I was also going to go with the alternator wire that ran from the alternator to the uh, stop outs here for my power distribution center on the OBS. So it's kind of a mixture of the two. Well with that, those cables are very stiff, they're rigid, they don't fit in there well. I had to look for some options. Custom cables is the way to go. Let me show you what I did. Here are the cables that I had made. These cables are each each line is two feet long. There's an eight gauge and a four gauge. What's really cool about these are that you can custom make them in any way you want. Any length, the uh, shrink wrap uh, or the shrink tubing on the ends can be different colors. The angle of the spade can be different. This is 180 degree. This one's a 45 degree. On my positive, I've got a 90 degree. You can also choose whether or not the position of this smaller cable, if it comes out on the left side, left side, right side, or in the center behind. I chose the right side. One of the cooler things though I really like about this, because the old cables are so stiff, the new cables are not. Check this out. Very pliable, and the reason why, there are over 1,862 strands in this four gauge. In the eight gauge, there's 735 strands. So that makes them very pliable uh, and you can really adapt them to your situation a lot easier than, than trying to get one of those stiff cables uh, to work. Now, what made mine a little more expensive because of the distance I have from uh, the battery being on the driver's side and having to go to the uh, passenger side for the starter is my battery uh, positive battery cables are 66 inches long. It cost a little bit more to have that. But even so, with this, uh, including shipping and everything, the cables ran about $80. Now, that may sound like a lot. You could go to your local auto parts store and for half or maybe a little less, uh, try to get something that will work. But they're very stiff, very heavy, uh, hard to contour maybe to what your application is. And these will be a lot easier to install. They look great and they actually look like they're made for it rather than something you're trying to make fit. Also on your connections, I recommend using star washers. So I picked up some new ones at the hardware store, some external star washers uh, for each of these connections. And one other point they made uh, for the ground on the negative side was to the frame to rather than use a tapped hole with a sheet metal screw that eventually can rust and lead to corrosion and a problem with your grounding, to weld a bolt to your frame and then use a nut to secure uh, the wire to that. And that's what we did. And let me show you what I did. Okay, it's kind of hard to see down in there because uh, it's not a bare frame anymore. It's got a little black painted around it on the frame where I ground it down. But there is a, a bolt down there that I welded to the frame and can't really reach it very well. There's two nuts on it. So I'm going to leave the one nut on the bottom. I'll take the top top one off, which I just dropped. We'll put the battery negative battery cable on that along with the star washer and tighten it down. Okay, I've got everything hooked up and installed. We didn't connect it to the battery right now because I'm still working on uh, wiring up the fans. But you can see the negative uh, will match up perfectly to the negative on this side and here's the positive 
and it goes over to this side and uh, a little bit extra slack so rather than 66 inches I might have gotten away with uh, 56 inches but it all worked out nicely and I routed it in the same direction uh, down below the front of the oil pan to the starter and the other cable that goes over to the uh, power to the stub outs uh, I ran the cable through conduit and it runs all the way back through to that and then the black of course uh, went to that nut down there which you can't see now it's in the shadows and to the engine I've got it grounded to the head right there that 45 degree angle works out nicely uh, along with the star washer so that's all I've got on the cables short and sweet and to the point uh, if you want to give these a try go to CE Auto Electric Supply I'll put a link in the description below check out everything they've got all kinds of cool stuff stuff you probably never even thought you needed but after you see it, you'll decide you do. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your thumbs up. See you in the next video.